Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize para-iodonitrobenzene. Para-iodonitrobenzene is just a substituted benzene with a nitro and an iodo group. It is an important raw material and intermediate used in organic synthesis. Materials required for this preparation includes 5 grams of para-nitroaniline, 4.2 ml of 98% sulfuric acid, 2.5 grams of sodium nitrite and 10 grams of potassium iodide. Start by fixing a small 50 ml round bottom flask on a stand. And then start adding the 5 grams of paranitroaniline into it. The paranitroaniline that I am using was synthesized in one of my previous videos. You can watch that first to learn how to make this compound and then proceed from here. It has this yellowish orange color to it. We need a total of 5 grams and I am doing it really slow here with my spatula trying to make sure nothing spills. But as always it goes out of the flask. Never mind that. Now add the sulfuric acid solution containing 4.2 ml of 98% sulfuric acid dissolved in 30 ml of distilled water. The dissolution of concentrated sulfuric acid in water is extremely exothermic, so be very careful in this step. Once you added the sulfuric acid, place a magnetic stirring bar inside the flask and the flask is already kept on a magnetic stirrer and start stirring to dissolve the compound. It would take about 5 to 10 minutes to get to a clear solution. My stirring plate is taking a little long to start stirring, okay. Here the stirring has started. Now we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes and after that we are left with this red clear solution. Now a beaker containing 2.5 grams of sodium nitrite is placed on a magnetic stirrer and 10 milliliters of distilled water was added and then we place a magnetic stirring bar and stirring was started in order to dissolve the compound in water. After getting a clear solution, we place the flask and the sodium nitrite solution, both of them are placed in an ice bath. A very strict temperature monitoring is mandatory as in every cases of diacetization reaction and here also we need to keep the temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. So we have to use a thermometer to make sure that we are keeping that temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. Once we make sure that the temperature has gone down 10 degrees Celsius, we can start to add slowly the sodium nitrite solution into the round bottom flask. Very slowly we should add the solution. I am using a glass dropper and I am adding the sodium nitrite solution drop by drop into the round bottom flask because this reaction can elevate the temperature and our aim is to not to go above 10 degrees Celsius. So add it very slowly. The mechanism of reaction is always the same, the similar reaction of a diacetization reaction and benzene diazonium chloride is being formed in this step. So the temperature should not exceed, actually it should not exceed more than 5 degrees Celsius but uh, I can tell you that this will work even if the temperature goes a little above 5 degrees Celsius. If we add the sodium nitrite solution uh, very fast, a vigorous reaction would take place producing a lot of nitrogen dioxide fumes, so that can destroy our product. Don't worry even if you see a little bit of nitrogen dioxide gas, it is not going to be a big issue. Just make sure that you are not producing a lot of nitrogen dioxide gas and everything is coming out of the beaker. And of course you will see a, a little bit of brown colored uh, vapors in the flask but that's not a problem. If you are doing it correctly and the temperature is maintained very well you will get a solution that would look something like this. Continue adding the sodium nitrite solution very slowly drop by drop as you can see in this video.
Meanwhile, the addition, we will make a solution of potassium iodide by dissolving 10 grams of potassium iodide in 25 milliliters of distilled water. We are using a magnetic stirrer to dissolve it. The contents of the round bottom flask was then placed in a separatory funnel and was added into the solution of potassium iodide with constant stirring. You can see that a vigorous reaction is taking place with evolution of a lot of vapors. It forms up a lot but don't worry it will all settle out fast. If forming goes too uncontrolled and if there is a risk of overflowing take a larger beaker and place the contents into it. The gas produced is nitrogen gas. Once everything is added and the reaction is complete. We will move on to filtration step. For filtration, I am using a simple gravity filtration method but a vacuum filtration will be the best option here. Once it is filtered, we will let it dry and this is the crude para iodo nitrobenzene. You can easily recrystallize using ethyl alcohol but I am lazy for that step so I am stopping here. I got a yield of 7 grams which is around 77% of the theoretical yield. So that comes to the end of this video and these are the fellow people who are supporting me via Patreon. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal so that I can do more experiments much more better than the one that I am doing now. The links of Patreon and PayPal are given in the description. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications. So I'll see you in the next video.